everyone. Today I want to talk about how to work the Etsy system to get more views and potentially more sales. Nothing can guarantee more sales, let's be honest, but if you get your listings in front of more people, it probably will end up that you will sell more things. But I want to talk about working the Etsy system because I think a lot of people don't pay attention to Etsy as much as you should or in the ways that you should. But there are things that you can look at on Etsy that will inform your decisions about what to put on sale, what to promote at what time, uh, what products to make. This has actually helped me make products that sold really well. So I'm going to take you into Etsy. We're going to look at this and see what the heck I'm talking about. We're on the Etsy homepage right now, and this is an incognito browser. I'm not signed in because I want to see what Etsy is showing to the general public not signed in. And they do personalize things, so you have to take that into account. Not everyone is going to see the same things that I'm seeing right now. They're going to see personalized interests, and I'll show you those sections. But a lot of this stays the same, but a lot of this does stay the same when people come to Etsy's homepage. So you want to be aware of what's going on on the homepage because that's what people see first. Now, a lot of people are going to the app first now, so you want to also do this on the app. Just go to the app and see what, what is being shown, what they're featuring, what's on sale, that kind of stuff. But go to the homepage because this is the website, this is the full site, and this is what Etsy thinks is important right now. I do want to point out before I get started that when I say work the Etsy system, I'm not talking about gaming the system. I'm not talking about tricks. I'm not talking about tricking the search engine. I'm talking about seeing what Etsy is doing and using that to your advantage and understanding what the platform wants and giving it to the platform. It's not that hard. And you can do this on any platform that you sell on. The information is right in front of your face. It tells you the answers right in front of your face. You just have to pay attention. So let's go and look. Okay, so the first thing... Right now it is the beginning of August in the US and a lot of school systems are going back to school in the next month. So either for college students or for younger kids, school is starting and Etsy is promoting back to school stuff, classrooms calling. All right, so the first thing at the very top of the page, classrooms calling. Do you have anything that's good for back to school? Maybe that should be your featured listings in your shop. Maybe you should be running ads on that. Just pay attention to what Etsy is showing people. And this also will answer questions about when should I start promoting Halloween? When should I start promoting Christmas? Watch what Etsy is promoting. And if Etsy is promoting it, then they know that this is the time to start promoting it. And so should you. All right, so right now, based on seasonality, we've got the classrooms calling. We also have printables, but look, under 10. Pay attention to the language on here because they want to use language and text that is going to attract buyers under $10. Okay, if you've got stuff that is printable, but it's $12, you might want to think about that and add some things that are under $10 or maybe put a sale on for a while, you know, because this under $10, let's click on this to see where it takes us. At first, it takes you to this listing, but this is taking you to a filter. Okay, number one, this is an Etsy's picks. So if you have listings that are not Etsy's picks, it's not going to be included in this, and that could be a problem. But the under $10 shows that Etsy thinks that people are shopping for printables that are less than $10. So just take that information and kind of put it away. But you always want to click through to see what is on the other side of these pages that Etsy is showing. So let's go back. And now look, they're showing teacher appreciation gifts under $10 and probably because I clicked on the first thing. So they're really, they, they try to personalize this and you really need to go through and look to see exactly what they're showing before you start clicking on things, but that's okay. You get, you get the idea. Teacher appreciation gifts under $30. We're looking at price points. And my guess is that if I click through here, it's also going to be Etsy's picks. But the under 30, under 10, under 20, whatever this says, they're looking at price points and they're showing people filtered results. So keep that in mind when you're about to hit a price and go up to the next tier on your pricing. You might want to think about that. And I'm not saying undervalue your listings. If you have to raise your prices, you have to raise them. But the way that Etsy has structured things right now, I've noticed a lot of under 20, under 30, under that kind of thing. So just keep, you know, keep that in mind when you're pricing your stuff. So let's go down and see what else they're showing. So heavy metals, shiny and reflective find. This is featured interest. Now, if I was signed in, this would be showing me different stuff. This would be showing me stuff that is based on my interests. I don't have interest in any of these things. Um, I, I don't have any piercings. 
I don't go outside because the bugs eat me alive. Um, I don't live on the coast. I guess I could like that if I wanted to, but I don't. And yeah, I mean, a lot of this is stuff that I'm not interested in, but what Etsy is doing when they're showing these to people is kind of showing them general high level interests, because like I said, I'm signed out. They don't know what I like at this point. So they're trying to figure that out by showing me things that a lot of people like. That's the important thing. A lot of people like this stuff. So maybe the, the shiny and reflective finds jewelry that's trending summer obviously is trending because like i said it's august so summer decor coastal charm this is a trend on like etsy i think predicted this is a trend i know that pinterest kind of predicted this is a trend too so these are things to kind of take note of if you have anything that's linen that's good you might want to click through here to see what's on the other side of this but these are all cards that are they're showing to people just as a way to kind of gauge not to gauge interest, but to get you interested in things that are already interesting. They know that these are interesting to a lot of people on Etsy right now because that's what they're showing me when I'm signed out. And they want to see what I click on, so they'll show me more of it. All right. Discover our best of summer 2025. That's the next thing. So we have new arrivals, best sellers. You might want to go and see what's selling well. Top 100 linen finds. Again, with the linen, we're going back up here to the linen spotlight. So maybe linen, I mean, I guess it's summer. So linen would be a fabric that people use. Hosting essentials. Okay, so parties and the back to school or back to the back to school. So this is, this is something that's interesting just to pay attention to. These are things that are probably trending right now. And again, if you have things that would fit in any of these categories, you might want to run a sale on them. You might want to pay for some ads. I hate to tell people to pay for Etsy ads because it's very unpredictable how much you're going to be spending. So if you do decide to pay for ads, just watch your spend and see how much your return on ad spend is. If it's eating up all your profits, it's not worth running ads because you want to make a profit on something if you're running an ad for it. So just watch the numbers very carefully. But looking at these will tell you what kind of things Etsy is pushing. Etsy is pushing these right now to people, and maybe you should too. It's basically watch, watch what Etsy does. Does it make sense for you to do the same thing? Possibly. Okay. Etsy special gifts for birthdays. All right, so now we're going to see some things that they are pushing for birthdays. Why birthdays? Birthdays are a gift occasion obviously and etsy is really pushing the gifts special gifts etsy special so they're etsy special okay they're gifts for birthdays um but the, you know just take take a look at this stuff but if you have things that could be given as a gift and most of us sell things anything that we make can be given as a gift in some capacity you might want to make sure that you have gift keywords in your listings uh, i would click through here like if any of these birthday gift card and money holders if you do any kind of printables and you don't have these, this is something that Etsy is like, hey, people actually buy these. They want these. And because of that, we're going to put it on the first page of the home page of the site. If you have anything like this or you can design something like this, then add it to your shop. I have gotten a lot of really good ideas for products from the home page of Etsy, just seeing what they promote. And I would challenge you. I would challenge you to go and actually do this once a week or even once a day. I'm serious. See what they're promoting. See what they're moving around. Do it signed out and then do it signed in to see what different things they're showing you. But the signed in, you're going to get the things that you've seen before and they're going to personalize it. So signed out is a better way to do this. And this is just the kind of thing that you can get a lot of really good ideas and like I said, Etsy knows when to promote things. They have the data. They have the information. They know what people are clicking on. They don't tell us, but you can get ideas from what they're doing. Okay, gifts as special as they are. Host gifts, gold jewelry, wedding gifts, personalized gifts, and vintage gifts. So for the people that are yelling, oh, they ignore vintage. No, they don't. I've said this before. Etsy does not ignore vintage. Sometimes it feels like it, but they really don't. If you look at the places that they have recommendations like this, they usually include vintage. All right, so host gifts. See, this is not something that I would have thought off the top of my head. This gives me a lot of ideas right away. So if you're thinking about moving into the fall season, host gifts make a lot of sense because people are going to be going to dinner parties. They're going to be going to Thanksgiving. 
They're going to be meeting people's parents for the first time if you're dating someone and they take you home for the holidays, you know. So host host gifts is probably a really good niche to get into. And I just got a lot of ideas from that. So go through here and see in like wedding, this is wedding season. The summer is wedding season and the fall is wedding season. And then it kind of tapers off in the winter. But wedding gifts, that makes sense that they're promoting gifts right now as opposed to wedding planning because that happens earlier in the year. Right now, people are going to weddings. So wedding gifts are something that they're actually looking to buy. So just take a look at this and see if you can get any ideas for products that you can make. What is Etsy showing? This is a very, very high impact page. And I don't think that people pay enough attention to the homepage on Etsy. Okay, shop our most loved categories. These are not Etsy's top categories. I will say uh, that they they just had their investor presentation and I don't remember what they said exactly was the top, but not all of these were included. I think jewelry is, jewelry usually is. And this has changed since I was here. I clicked off the page, I came back. This was different before. So that could, it could have something to do with what I clicked on. But like I said, come back and check. Check this once a day. Just come and browse the homepage once a day. See what Etsy is doing and see what Etsy is suggesting and see what ideas you get. So we've got women's dresses, crochet patterns, wall hangings. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that you need to pay attention to, all of this stuff. Just see what they're, what, what are they showing. Now, they also have deals. Now, I'm not sure if I click through here. I'm, I'm assuming that most of these are going to be Etsy's picks because in general, when you click through from anything on the homepage, it's an Etsy's pick. They do have sales. So take a look and see what's on sale. This doesn't mean you have to put your stuff on sale. You could. It doesn't mean that's going to show up on the homepage if you do put it on sale. But this does refresh. It refreshes every, I'm not sure how often, but it has a little countdown here. They want people to come back and see what's on sale. So this is an indication that Etsy promotes things that are on sale. And to me, that means that no, they're not just putting it on the homepage. They're probably elevating those listings in search. They're probably rising to the top of search a little bit. So just keep an eye on your pricing. If you're doing sales, I would try sales. Why not? But make sure that your margins are big enough that you can afford it. Like I said, with the same thing with the ads, if you're giving away all your profits because you're marking things down, it's not worth doing a sale. So make sure that your price is right and then consider putting some things on sale and see what kind of stuff they're putting on sale and see what the pictures look like. What are these pictures? All these pictures are so freaking beige. I, you know, Etsy is just very beige, but they're not randomly showing things. They're showing things with a certain aesthetic. That's how Etsy works. Okay, let's move on down here. Shop the look again with the aesthetic. This is, looks like back to school. This is a, obviously a high school locker. This is a dorm room. It says dorm, sweet dorm. So they're pushing the back to school. That's happening right now. I would click through on some of these to see what is on the other side of it, like I said. In this section, we have save now. So these are all things that are on sale. Etsy is really pushing things that are on sale. They know that people like sales. Etsy knows that people like discounts. That, that's not a new piece of information, but Etsy really does push that. So like I said, consider running a sale and run it on something that Etsy is promoting because they know that that is selling now. They know that that stuff is selling now or else they wouldn't have it on the homepage. They have other things on the homepage if that's the, the thing. Okay, so here's local shops fresh from the blog. Okay, just kind of take a look to see. And this looks like it's the same kinds of things that they're promoting. So there could be some tie-in with that. But Etsy has the information. This is, this is what I'm saying. Etsy has the information about what people are buying now and what needs to be promoted now because they're going to be buying it soon. And if you pay attention to the Etsy homepage, it can help you make decisions about your own Etsy shop and your own website, you can take this information and move it to your website. If Etsy is promoting back to school and you haven't done anything with back to school on your website and you have products that are good for that, maybe you should be doing that on your website. Take it to your social media, promote that stuff now. This is, the like I said, the information is right in front of you. So use it to your advantage and you can get more views, you can get more traffic and definitely more sales down the road if you play your cards right. Okay, so leave me any questions, give this video a thumbs up, and keep an eye out because I am going to be doing more videos like this showing you how to use the Etsy system.
I will talk to you later.